if you've ever met anyone and said, wow, it feels like I've known you forever, it might be because you have. That's how a recent client of mine feels about her husband, like she's known him forever and they have an amazing marriage in this lifetime. So she had lots of questions about this for her higher self, but we didn't even have to wait until her higher self came forward. We got to see it in the past life regression portion of her hypnosis session. After doing a meditation, I take my client to look at another life that they have experienced, and this client saw herself not as being human. But she said it felt like a solitary confinement because she was literally there all alone. She described herself as having four fingers and four toes, and her fingers were really long and really skinny. She said she was really tall and made of light. And the thing she kept focusing on was this huge moon that was right in front of her, really close in front of her. She described her head as being bigger than a human head and larger on the top, and it kind of tapered as it went down. She said, there's so much light coming off of me. My skin is just white light. And she said she was lonely and felt like she was waiting for someone. She said, I want something or someone to show up, and I just keep waiting and waiting and waiting, and I'm not sure who I'm waiting on. And I'm not even sure if they'll show up. And she started to sound really anxious and worried. I asked her, what's going to happen when they show up? She said, when they show up, it feels like there's going to be even more light. It's just a feeling of love and everything will be bright. She described the place where she was as being another planet really far away from Earth. She said she'd been there for thousands of years waiting and the creator of all that is put her there just to wait. It's just kind of like a holding place. Finally, this other person showed up. She felt more male previously, and she said when this other light being arrived, she felt like she was becoming more female. She said, I'm so happy, and the other light person is very happy to see me too. It's like we know each other already, and we're hugging. I asked her, well, now that this other light person showed up, what are you going to do? And she said, now we're going to go have a life together on Earth. She said, we walk around holding hands and we don't even have to say anything. We just know each other's thoughts. We want to go to Earth and have kids and teach them how to be kind and how to be love. And we want to teach them how to love the land. And by doing this, our line and our light can spread and bring even more happiness to Earth. When I asked her, does this other light being feel like it's your husband? She said, yes, it's my current husband. She said, he waited for me a long time too, but he had to go off and do other things and learn other things before he would be ready. It's like I finished kind of ahead of him, so then I had to wait. I said, so you had to kind of slow down and wait for him? And she said, I'm always waiting for him, even in this lifetime. He made the choice to go first, and I followed nine years later, she said. When I asked her if she knew anything about the kind of life she was going to live or the kind of family she was going to have, she said, no, neither one of us did. That didn't really matter to us. The parents, the family, that was just a way for us to get there, just a vehicle for us to enter into earth. That didn't really matter. We really didn't care. We just wanted to be there. She said neither one of them had any particular attachment to their families at all. Again, they were just a vehicle to get to earth. I then asked her, but you definitely feel an attachment to each other, right? And she said, oh, yes. Later in the session, when I brought her higher self forward, I asked if they always incarnated together or if they just sometimes incarnated together. And I was told that they had many, many lives together, that they really enjoyed incarnating together. And they did a lot of work together. I asked if they were twin flames. And the answer from her higher self was, no, it goes even deeper than a twin flame relationship. I didn't have time to get into exactly what that means, but apparently there's something that's even deeper than a soulmate and deeper than a twin flame relationship. And I just wanted to share this fun story to show you how we can oftentimes choose our partners well before we get to planet Earth. And that can be partners where we have very challenging relationships or partners where we have incredible love relationships with. We can come here to learn lessons with our partners, or we can come here to have incredible, amazing, loving experiences with our partners. It just all really depends on what's relevant for the soul at that particular time.
And just because yours is challenging in this lifetime doesn't mean that it always will be. Or just because it's incredible and amazing and loving in this lifetime, it doesn't mean that all of them will necessarily be that way either.